Well, tonight, more than a thousand people in Pinellas County are now on the verge of losing their only mode of transportation. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck tonight driving Tampa Bay forward with the services that are now on the chopping block. For Carla Bud, this isn't just a bus. This is my lifeline. Every day she spends hours on PSTA buses, going to doctor's appointments, the social security office, and to run errands. She worries if PSTA eliminates three bus routes and reduces three others, she'll lose her independence. It takes me two hours, and if they cut it even more, it's going to take more time. Today, Pinellas Senko's Transit Authority members made it clear, unless they close an $800,000 shortfall, they'll have no choice but to cut routes. This is just a short-term solution to really a much bigger problem that we're facing here in the county. PSDA says they're one of the lowest funded public transportation agencies in the country at a time when Tampa Bay keeps growing. You cannot travel anywhere without being stuck in gridlock traffic. County leaders now looking at new options like increasing the gas tax or using tourism tax dollars to pay for buses. Bud desperately hopes they come up with a solution. Two of the routes on the elimination list connect to prime areas like St. Pete's Carolina Office Park, St. Pete College, and Tyrone Square Mall. Please don't cut. PSTA leaders will host a public hearing on April 10th and will vote on the cuts on April 24th. In Pinellas County, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.